Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here at the ranch here, smoking there, fucking roll your own, and uh, getting ready to deal with life's problems. One inconsistent inhale to a time. So, being as I'm in an especially crabby mood today, I might as well bring up another point that would probably make me lose subscribers. I just don't care. You know, we have an electoral process in this nation every four years, or rather a selectoral process, to where they make a big old show of uh, who's going to do what, and then make people get all riled up and go run down to vote, and then they have a bunch of fraud and miscount things as Cessnas fly by and distract the world. And then, uh, no matter who gets in office, kind of the same thing happens. And let me elaborate. I've lived long enough to see this. I was born in 89, so, uh, yeah, my first presidential election was probably Bill Clinton. Good old Slick Willie in the blue dress, yeah. Press one down in the comments if you, uh, think that Monica did a pretty good job of servicing old Slick Willie there with the stains on that dress, but I digress. I have an opinion that's probably fairly unpopular among the general populace, and uh, I'm going to explain my case. Uh, I believe that if voting really mattered, it would be illegal, and here's my argument. Every communist nation on planet Earth, at one point or another, has banned elections, right? Why? Because if your one vote counted for just you, and they added it up fairly, then it would change the world, because nobody likes what's going on right now. And they haven't for a long time. <sighs> Instead, they use electric machines and, and secret ballots and ballot harvesting and fucking just outright fraud lies, cheating and fucking recounts until they get their way. And that's kind of par for the course. Uh, and Texas Gun Vault actually inspired this because uh, he was on a tirade because somebody trolled him down in the comment section. I agree with his analogy for this. Let's say you're going to move somebody in your house, and there are two people. One is a convicted arsonist that just has a fetish for fire that sexually arouses him and likes to start big fires for fun. And the other is just an arsonist that's kind of got things under control, but they still like to start small fires, sometimes big fires other times. Who do you vote for? The answer is you abstain from voting because that is voting. Now, people say, well, if you don't vote, you don't have a right to complain. The fuck I don't. My right not to vote is important because it is considered a vote of no confidence, meaning I don't believe in your damned Yankee system, nor do I give one damn. I do not wish to support people that actively want to put me in a concentration camp, nor do I support the people that claim they're on my side, and then eventually buckle under pressure and then sign my fucking birth right away. I just don't want to vote, and I'm not going to. I don't have to. Now, I have voted one time in my life. That was during the 2020 election. I'm pretty sure you know who I voted for. For sure as hell wasn't Grandpa Ice Cream. Now, I learned that in my adult life, what you actually have to say has very little bearing relevance in your day because most people have just taken it upon themselves to choose on your behalf and decided you can go fuck yourself. And if you don't believe me, look at every little law and ordinance going on in the government right now. Why? We're sending trillions of dollars to Ukraine. Did you vote for that? I sure the fuck didn't. And I sure as hell didn't vote the cocksuckers in office that are doing it. <sighs> but my great-grandkids' great-grandkids will be paying this fucking bill off hmm? if something doesn't change, which it probably won't, because, once again, nothing really changes in life. <sighs> but people get riled up about the 2024 elections, like, oh, if, if Donald gets in office or Ron gets in office or if Grandpa Ice Cream stays in office... It is going to be more of the same old bullshit every fucking day. You're going to lose more and more of your rights at the stroke of someone else's pen every day as you slip slowly into fucking poverty. Look at where your life was five years ago, and look where it is now. 
Yeah. But as always, ranting with Joe and smoking what impersonates a cigarette, at least on the internet, for all intents and purposes. It's better than nothing, folks, but it ain't much better than nothing. But we do the best we can here. It's called making do and getting by. And as always, until we meet again, voting can eat my shorts.